How's it going, everybody? Uh, today, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the new Metagame Revengeance game. Uh, What's well, going actually going to be the demo thoughts? Um, and this game is pretty much trying to do something very unique. Um, pretty much take out the stealth and just add something, a new element in there. Hack and slash. So pretty much they took out Medi uh, Solid Snake. You know, very sneaky, very uh, you know, very unique person, and put right uh, right in there. Um, Pretty much, he's a uh, kind of different from Snake. Instead of sneaking around, he's actually more about action. Very, uh, got very agility. You know, very, you know, I guess you could say, uh, kick karate styles or something like that. But pretty much, he's very different from uh, Solid Snake. So, uh, you know, he's a cyborg. He got swords. You know, all this hack and slash stuff. Pretty much, you can you know relate it to God of War or um, Devil May Cry, but I like to um, relate it to uh, Ninja Gaiden because I think something like that it's sort of sort of resemblance, you know, with the sword. Uh, you know, when you first start the game, you, uh, you of course you have your V. I think it's called VR training. Pretty much tell you the basics of the game. Uh, every Metal Gear game has that. So when you start it up, um, I really think it should be uh, it should have more in depth stuff. Pretty much just show you how to do the light attack and the uh, heavy attack. Pretty much, you know, use the attacks to, uh, these are the basic moves to right in the uh, arsenal, in the arsenal, and he uses those attacks to fight. But pretty much, you know, you can use different combinations and different type of combos, uh, which looks amazing. And you can also, uh, you can also hold a left trigger and use, um, use the right analog stick that pretty much I guess you say freeze time a little bit pretty much you line up your shot and use the right analog stick to slash up and down left and right stuff like that and pretty much uh, it's very exciting you see them slicing you know slicing enemies up you know pretty much a slow motion and stuff like that I think it's very cool it's a cool addition to this but other than that it's pretty much that's the only thing to tell you about the VR training uh, I was kind of disappointed I wanted more into it but uh, I guess so far that's pretty much uh, what he's sticking with probably when you get the full game it's probably going to be a little different you probably get more uh, up to date stuff so yeah the cutscenes in here of course they have cutscenes uh, it wasn't really that long for the demo it's pretty much five to seven minutes pretty people uh, pretty much people just cut uh, there's a review uh, for this game. I think it was like 9.0 by a uh, Game Informer or somebody. I think it was a Game Informer. Pretty much gave it a 9 out of 10 because uh, you know it was very unique, very good. Uh, they also got some quotes and comments saying um, that somebody beat it in like five hours. Uh, pretty much, I totally disagree with that. I, there's only one one reason I can believe you can beat it in five hours if you cut the uh, you know the hour cut scenes and stuff like that. Pretty much people don't really like the cutscenes, it's too long. Some people do love them. Uh, so pretty much if you're watching it, you might as well get your, your popcorn, your soda, and your snacks because you're going to be there for a while. Sometimes it's, it's interesting just listen to the dialogue because the dialogue is so top notch in here. But again, it can be so long. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 4 uh, pretty much is the best one, I think. When I used, At first when I played the game, I didn't skip no cutscenes. And just the dialogue, I like the dialogue, and I rarely get even bored. You know, sometimes you know, it's not good to, you know, skip over it a little bit because, you know, you're going to mix those action cutscenes and, yeah, they're action cutscenes. So sometimes it's okay to skip, sometimes it's not. But other than that, um, yeah, one more key thing I want to play uh, say here is uh, the sneaky skills. So pretty much when you threw out, I think, the end of the level or end of the demo, Pretty much, uh, you can do you can do either you know hack and slash your enemies or uh, sneak attack. Pretty much, what I found found out was kind of weird is when you sneak about somebody, uh, instead of you know sneaking around like quietly and stabbing somebody or you know cutting their throat or something like that, you're actually when 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 you sneak around in the game, he's actually, I guess you said he's you can run behind the person without alerting them and then kills them sneak attacks so pretty much you're making all this noise but then again the enemies cannot hear you so you sneak it so you sneak an attack actually running behind the person and stabbing them uh, I don't know the logic in that I don't know 
because, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's just something I want to point it out because pretty much, you know, if you're trying to be sneaky, you're still making a lot of noise. I mean, at least alert the person, but it's not alert, you know, you know, till they turn around, you know, if they're doing their little motions thing, you know. Sometimes they be, the enemies be walking in different patterns and stuff. But other than that, that's pretty much the only thing I could put out. What was kind of weird about that. So, yeah, pretty much overall the game is very good. You know, cutscenes, dynamino, dialogue, dynamino. You know, the action, the gameplay. Uh, gameplay is pretty fun, I would say. Um, I was thinking about it at first why didn't dad a double jump, but you know. I was kind of dumb at that moment because uh, no Metal Gear games have a double jump in there. So I was just, you know, I thought it was going to be a double jump because you're playing as a different character. You know, right and, you know, when you're playing with right and it feels like that type of game where a hacker slash game, you can, you can you know, allow a double jump. So it would be kind of cool if they add that feature in there. But overall, the game is still pretty good. Um, I don't think it was a quote on Game Informer or a review. Talking about that, this game is the best Metal Gear game. Is the best Metal Gear game out of the series. I did not agree with that at all. Pretty much, you know, I don't think it's better than four or three, because uh, those games are very top notch. But you know, I don't know. I guess it's just their their opinion. You know, this game is very unique. If it sells well, I can see it. Uh, I def definitely can see a sequel. I hope they do make a sequel. Uh, add on to this, you know, probably you know. Writing teaming up with Snake, I, I would rather like to see that you know team up. Probably put some cool up in there. It'd be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. The game is great. The game is excellent. I, I'm just seeing, just wanting to see how much this is going to sell. I hope it does. I hope it so sell a lot better than DMC because this game looks very surprising. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe um, to stay updated to my next videos. I'm gonna do them like very daily. Uh, at least one or two every day. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, sometimes uh, I be uh, slacking off, but I want to get back into it and do videos and uh, you know just get my thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. You know, hope you like this video and um, comment below if you're getting Medigar Revengeance. Now, um, there's a lot of speculation. Some people may get it, some people may not. But you know, the game is very excellent, very great. I just hope it does good in reviews. And uh, we never know. It uh, may be surprising. All right. Um, KCB3, have a wonderful day.